Robert Wolcott with Wolcott Design Services. Today we're going to be filming the second video comparing a Makino PS95 with a Haas BM3. Basically we're, we're going to be running the same part in both machines. We're prepping a fixture for the tombstone and a horizontal machine. Um, it's going to be running half inch MA Ford 134 series end mill. The Makino we're going to run at 800 inches a minute. The Haas we're going to have to slow it down to stay within the machine's capabilities at 500 inches a minute. And uh, we'll see what the cycle times come out at. So here we have the MA Ford 134 series rougher. Uh, the material is aluminum 6061. It's 4 inches deep by uh, 18 inches wide by 3 inches thick. And the feed rate is going to be 800 inches a minute with a 5 8 inch depth cut and about a 25% step over. PS95 finished up at 10 minutes 57 seconds. Now we're here at the Haas. We're going to run the same program. I had to modify the feed rate down from 800 inches a minute to 500 inches a minute. And I also had to modify the high feed rate down on the high speed tool pass from 1100 inches a minute to 500 inches a minute. So, window's kind of cloudy, but I cleared a nice spot up here so you can get a, a clear picture of what's going on in the machine. And uh, we'll see how it does. Okay, so we're getting some pretty good chatter, so we're going to have to uh, make a few program changes here. So it looks like I got a, a speed and feed that seems to be working. Um, we have the spindle speed at 12,000 RPM, and the feed rate is at 250 inches a minute, and it seems to be cutting okay without a ton of chatter. But I'd like to get to the quarter inch end mill and, and see how that cuts. So now we have the quarter inch end mill. And it's doing just fine at the program feed rates of 12,000 RPM and 150 inches a minute. Now there's no way the machine is actually feeding that fast. It's going pretty slow. cycle time of 20 minutes 30 seconds. Uh, that's not entirely fair because I didn't reset uh, using an M30 after the uh, tool paths were giving chatter. I know the best case with the maximum that the Haas could go, keep, you know, where it was chattering, the best case was 1636. So I'm guessing the machine is probably right around 1830 by the time all is said and done. So the Makino was considerably faster, um, but you know it's a more expensive machine to be expected. I guess the big question is, is the step in performance worth the step in price? Uh, step in price, right around uh, $30,000 plus or minus. So I'll leave that decision up to you and make up your own mind. So thanks for watching the video and have a great day.